how to evaluate if two functions are equal. Recall that if both functions have the same domain and the same codomain, and when we evaluate each function at each element of its domain, and it yields the same output, then the two functions are equal. Let's look at a problem from your homework. Determine whether the two functions f and g are equal, evaluate them at all points in their domain, and conclude whether they are equal. So choose from the drop-down equal or not equal. Now note that both f and g have the same domain and the same codomain, z5 to z5. So let's start with f of x. So f of x equals x squared mod 5, and that equals the remainder. So we're going to be calculating remainders. We evaluate f of 0. 0 to the 5th mod 5, 0 mod 5. Our scratch work tells us that 5 goes into 0, 0 times. 0 times 5 is 0, and we have a remainder of 0. We write that in. We evaluate f at 1. 1 to the 5th mod 5 is 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 mod 5 equals 1 mod 5, our scratch work. 5 goes into 1, 0 times. 0 times 5 is 0. 1 subtract 0 is 1. Our remainder is 1. We write that in. We evaluate f of 3 equals 3 to the 5th mod 5 equals 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 mod 5 equals 243 mod 5. Scratch work. 5 goes into four, 243 48 times. 5 times 48 is 240. We have a remainder of 3. So 243 mod 5 equals 3. We write that in. We forgot 2, so we're going to evaluate f of 2. f of 2 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 mod 5. Is 32 mod 5, our scratch work. 5 goes into 32 6 times. We find a remainder of 2, so 32 mod 5 equals 2. We write that in. We evaluate f of 4. 4 to the 5th mod 5 equals 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 mod 5 equals 1024 mod 5, our scratch work. 5 goes into 1024 204 times. 5 times 204 is 1020. We have a remainder of 4, so 1024 mod 5 equals 4. We write that in. And now we evaluate the function g. The function g is a lot simpler. g of x equals x, so g of 0 equals 0, g of 1 equals 1, g of 2 equals 2, g of 3 equals 3, g of 4 equals 4. We write those in. We've evaluated both functions, g and f, at each element in their domains. And we find that the outputs are the same. So we conclude that the functions g and f are equal. And we choose equal from the drop-down in our homework problem.